Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool chrome and red A&E three-slot payphone. And you won't see these very often. This is Craig's telephone from New York. And so we were waiting on some parts for this telephone. He has his vault door, but he did not have a vault lock or key. And so what we've done here is we've located a lock, and then we have to rekey this key to this lock. So we'll be doing that. We also got him a cash box, and we'll have to install that. Now he had a key for the body, and uh, that was cool because that works. And on this informational card here, the number that's on it is a 314 number, which would be from Missouri. So that uh, telephone at some point, either somebody put that card in that telephone or this telephone was in working condition in Missouri, which is one state away. So uh, my other shop is in Missouri. So basically, uh, it's a really cool telephone. Uh, it's chrome and red. You're not going to see many of these. And uh, it's just a really nice telephone. What we're going to do here, though, is we're going to take a little break. And I'm going to open the telephone up. And then I'm going to show you the inside of it. So we'll be right back. Okay. Uh, this shows you a little bit of what's inside this telephone, kind of give you a look at this. Now what we're going to be doing is installing a uh, modular port in this center knockout here so that uh, Craig can simply plug any line cord he wants into the telephone, any length, any color. And that kind of gives you a look at uh, what the inside looks like. We have our capacitor there and our network. And then over here on the back uh, of the body, we have our coin validator, but part of the coin validator was kind of just hanging when we opened it up. But this gives you a look at the inside of uh, the coin validator and the back of the body. Very nice A&E chrome with red dial and handset. So what we're going to do is uh, get a little more video of this as we move along. We're going to start uh, rekeying the lock for the vault, get that lock installed, get our cash box uh, put in, and then uh, start on our modular port and rewiring. And we also want to install a bell. Craig wants a bell installed in this telephone. So we'll be working on that. And we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're finished up with this payphone now and we're going to go ahead and do some final checks and we're going to show you a little bit of what we've done here. We install modular ports here. I don't like to hang cords out of the back of them. I think that looks tacky. So what we do is install a modular port and Craig can just simply walk up to it and plug any length line cord uh, or color or anything that he wants into the back of it and so it makes for a very easy and simple clean connection. Another issue is we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the vault door here. I'm going to spin this telephone around real quick And the vault door here uh, needed a lock and key, so that's uh, been finished up. And we had a lock, and then what we did was we got a key, and we keyed the key to the lock. So now Craig can lock his uh, vault. And so what else we did was we went ahead and got him a cash box. He wanted a cash box. And we showed that earlier that we had gotten parts and they had come in. And so now we're finishing off the telephone. So 
what we want to do now is uh, I want to take a look at the payphone itself. And it has a Missouri card in here because it's a 314 number. And it's got a nice informational card. But then when you get up to the area code, it's a 612 area code and a different telephone number. So I'm not sure where the card came from, but uh, anyway, this gives you a little look at the whole payphone. And uh, it's a really beautiful telephone. You're not going to see many of these red uh, in chrome. There are just not that many of them out there. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and drop some money in. So we'll check that out real quick here. I'll set the video down. I've got some change here. And so what we'll do is just start putting uh, money in. Now, nickels are going to ring the bell once. Dimes are going to ring the bell twice. And uh, the quarters will gong. So we'll go ahead and uh, start putting some money in. That was a nickel. There's a quarter. Dime. Another quarter. Nickel. Nickel. Dime. Another dime. Another dime. And a nickel. And so now we'll go down and we'll check our cash drawer. So now Craig's got plenty of money here. He's getting rich. And I'm not sure where this telephone was uh, located, but I keep finding little pieces of like wheat and grass and things in this telephone. So it was obviously out in the country somewhere, probably in service at one time. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put the vault door on. I want to make sure that I unlock it and then now Craig can just simply lock it up. Uh, I have customers that tell me I want to move this uh, change out of the way. I have customers that tell me they put things in the uh, vault door or in the cash box just for the simple fact that once they mount this on the wall well, uh, you're just not going to get into this payphone. They're made really well, and they're like little safes. Another uh, issue that I want to talk about is Craig has an open slot coin return, and so that makes this telephone worth more money. Uh, the open slots uh, are a little more desirable, although all the telephones when it comes to a three slot and even the single slots now are uh, very desirable and very sought after but uh, he has an open coin return on this one so now what we're going to do is uh, kind of explain a little bit we went through um, the uh, coin validator made sure all the money was dropping through we went through the inside and rewired everything that we needed to rewire uh, to put this telephone into working condition. We also installed a bell circuit and we set it up to where when you dial you will hear a little tinkle of the bell. Uh, most customers want it that way. It uh, gives it a good added sound effect and a lot of times you'll even get a little bit of a bell tinkle. If you can hear that when you lift the handset and set it down. So it's a really cool situation. Uh, we went through the rotary and uh, kind of just went through a little bit of everything on the phone uh, just to make sure everything was in working condition. And uh, so now what we're going to do is do some checks. I want to go ahead and ring the phone. We'll let that go a few times because it didn't have a bell when it came in. Go ahead and answer it and give you some dial tone. Now, uh, Craig did have his uh, lock and key 
for uh, the body. So that's all fine, and that was there. But we did get a lock and key for the uh, vault. And so now what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and set the video down, and I want to go ahead and um, dial some numbers here. Give you some dial tone. If you watch the analyzer, you watch the numbers go by. I'm going to end in a two, and then I want to transmit into the handset. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So we know it has transmit. Every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation. So now what we want to do is we will move the telephone over to a regular telephone line. And we'll go ahead and call, say, like a, a time and temp. Give you some dial tone. Okay, now what we can do is uh, we'll call my number, give you some dial tone, and it'll be busy. We'll call one other number. Give some dial tone. We don't need anything from there. Thank you for calling Walmart. Okay, so we know that this telephone is dialing out. It has transmit, receive, and it has a modular port to be able to plug into, and it will ring when uh, Craig gets a call. This is a really nice payphone he has here, and if he wants to take a picture of it after he gets it up and running and gets it mounted, uh, that would be cool. Uh, we'll try to get it up on the web page, but uh, it's just a really beautiful telephone. It's the chrome and red, and you won't see these very often, and it's just a, a really cool telephone. I get to see all these neat telephones working on uh, telephones all day long. I get to see all kinds of uh, really cool versions and uh, this is one of them. He's got a keeper here. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.